Hello everyone, welcome back. We have received a lot of inquiries and questions related to 401k. And uh, so we have decided to do a video that provides comprehensive information related to 401k and uh, related topics. So in this video, I'm going to talk about 401k, give an overview of what 401k is, what are the advantages of investing in 401k, and should someone invest in 401k if they have plans to move back to India. Please stay till the end of the video because I'm going to give my perspective on whether someone should invest in 401k uh, if they have plans to go to India in a short term. Let's talk on the 401k. So 401k is an employer-sponsored retirement plan. And uh, one cannot invest in a 401k from their savings. The contribution money has to come from the paycheck and it has to be through an employer-sponsored plan. There are two types of 401k plans. The first one is called traditional 401k, which is also called pre-tax 401k. And the second one is a Roth 401k, which is also called post-tax 401k. So in the traditional 401k, the contributions that you do to the 401k fund are pre-tax, which means you would have tax savings on the contributions you're doing to the 401k fund. And however, when you withdraw the money from the fund, the money that was invested, and the money that has compounded or grown from that investment, when you withdraw the money from the fund, that money would be taxed in the case of traditional 401k. On contrary, with Roth 401k, you would contribute after tax money. So this is the money that you would have after tax. So there is no savings when you contribute to Roth 401k in the current year. However, the money that you contributed as well as the money that has compounded from your investments, when you withdraw that money, you won't be taxed at all. So you have tax advantage when you're withdrawing the money. So how much can you contribute to a 401k plan? As an individual, one can contribute up to $23,000 per year towards your 401k plan. Your spouse can also contribute an additional $23,000 to his or her employer plan. Please note, if someone is above 50 years old, there is something called a catch-up, which means anyone who is above 50 years old can contribute an additional $7,500 to their 401k plan. So in a given year, if someone is more than 50 years old, they can contribute up to $30,500 in a given year. Please note, there is another IRA, which is called traditional IRA and Roth IRA, and the contribution limit amount for that is $7,000 per year. And uh, the IRA contribution is completely different from the 401k contribution. So is the maximum that you can contribute to a 401k plan is 23,000 if uh, you are below 50 years old? Yes, that is for you as an individual. However, as an employer, they can contribute an additional money to your 401k plan. And a lot of employers provide this perk or benefit for their employees where they provide discretionary contribution or they contribute a percentage of salary up to certain percentage so now let's look at a, an example of an employer match. So typically, uh, when an employer is matching a certain percentage of your salary to your 401k funds, they typically have something called as a vesting period. So this is to ensure that the entire money that they contributed doesn't become available on the contribution year. It gets, gets vested over multiple years. So let's take an example that uh, you make around $120,000 per year and uh, the employer can match up to 5% of the salary, which is 100%. Every dollar that you contribute up to 5% of salary is matched by your employer. 
and the money that the employer matched gets vested over a period of three years. So the 5% of $120,000 is $6,000. So if you contributed $6,000 to your 401k plan, employer would also contribute $6,000 to your 401k fund. However, the $6,000 gets vested over three years. As an example, on the year one, you have $2,000 gets vested, year two, another $2,000, and year three, another $2,000. So the entire $6,000 that was contributed would get vested over a period of three years. This is to ensure that you're, uh, you know, they retain the employee. And this is the reason why most of these employer matches have something called as a vesting period. Now let's talk about the advantages of 401k plan, like why someone has to contribute to a 401k and uh, what are the advantages related to that. Before we dive into that, let's understand the couple of terms called marginal tax rate and effective tax rate. So basically marginal tax rate means the tax bracket at which you are paying for the highest bracket of your income. So here is the tax brackets for 2024. And uh, if you look at it, for an individual single filer or someone who is filing as a married couple and filing jointly, you would be paying only 10% for the income up to 11,600 or 23,200. And as your income increases, the tax that you would pay on that marginal income is going to be higher. This is called the progressive tax system that is applicable in US. So the marginal tax bracket is the, the maximum, the tax bracket where your income would fall in. So for example, if you have a 120,000 annual income and you are a married couple filing jointly, your marginal tax bracket would be 22% because it is falling in the bracket of 94,301 to 200,149. So your marginal tax bracket is 22%. Let's talk through this, what is an effective tax bracket? So the total annual income that you have is 120,000 and you have multiple brackets. So the first 23,200 is taxed at 10%. The next $71,099 is taxed at 12%. And then the next $25,701 is taxed at 22%, which is your total income of $120,000. So the total tax that you have to pay, so this is the total federal tax that you have to pay is 16506 where the 10% of this first bracket, 12%, and the 22%. So... Effectively, your marginal tax rate is 22%. However, your effective tax rate is the tax rate that you overall play. So this is a 16,506 divided by 120,000 is basically 13.76%. So effectively, you paid around 1376 of your total income as the tax to the federal, and that is your effective tax rate. Now, let's talk about the advantages of investing in 401k. The first one is called tax deferral savings. Let's take an example of 120K annual income and married couple filing jointly. And uh, you contributed 20K to the traditional 401K. As we looked at before, if you have not contributed anything to the 401K, the total tax that you have to pay is 16,506 based on the different tax brackets. However, if you have contributed 20,000 to your 401k, your total taxable income is only $100,000. And you are saving the 20,000 taxes at the highest tax bracket because your total taxable income is only 100,000. So the savings that you have is basically from the 22% of the 20,000. So you are net effectively only paying only 12,106. So the federal tax savings is about 4,400, which is the difference between 16,506 and 12,106. And then you have a $2,000, which is, let's take an example of a state tax, which is California, which is around 
and that is additional two thousand dollars. So the total sav tax savings that you have for contributing twenty thousand dollars to your four hundred one k plan is six thousand six hundred dollars. So that's a huge savings that you can make this year. And the idea is that you are saving the tax at the marginal tax, and then you are trying to pay it at an effective tax rate. That is the key thing where you are trying to do. So that's the first thing. The second one is you might be living in a state that has a higher income tax. But when you retire, you might move to a state that might not have any tax rate. So you can save this additional state tax that you have to pay currently. And effectively, you are converting it from a marginal tax to an effective tax rate. So that's the first advantage of uh, contributing to the 401k. Now let's talk about the tax deferral compounding. Let's take the same example. 120,000 annual income, a married couple filing jointly, and you are contributing 20,000 every year to your 401k plan. And let's assume you have an annual return of 8% and you have contributing to for 20, to 20 years. As we saw before, the tax savings that you can have per year is 6,600. And the total tax savings that you will have is from a 20 years. So 20 times 6,600 is $1, $132,000. So simply by contributing um, the 20,000 every year, you're saving about 6,600. And 6,600 for 20 years is around 132,000. Let's look at the the eighth wonder of the world, which is the compound growth. So you have contributing 6,600 and you are contributing 6,600 every year for the next 20 years with an annual rate return of 8% only. With that, your balance will become 332,000. So the total savings is 132,000, which is what you have contributed. And then it has gained close to 200,000. So you have about 332,000 that you have gained from this particular contribution. Let's look at, on a contrary, you didn't contribute anything to the 401k. So basically your 20,000 because you have to pay the taxes. So you would be paying taxes of 6,600, which you didn't save. So effectively you would have 13,400 that you would be contributing to the investment. So let's take the same scenario where you are contributing 13,400 every year and you have the same 8% uh, annual return for 20 years. In this case, again, 13,400 contributing, same thing. So your balance is going to be 675,000, 675K uh, as the total earnings that you would have. However, if you have contributed the 20K to your 401K plan, you would basically have a 1,008,000 $458 and the difference between these two is the money that you have gained from the tax savings. So it's not only on the tax that you can save, but it also the deferred tax which can gain because of the compounding. So that's another important factor to consider how the tax deferral can also help in, in increasing your corpus fund. Now that you understand why one should invest in 401k, Let's talk about should someone invest in 401k if they have plans to move back to India. Let's take the first scenario. If your employer is providing an employer match to your contributions to 401k, I highly recommend, I think you must contribute to the 401k plan, at least to the match that your employer provides. Let's take this example of $120,000 annual income and 5% contribution by your employer. So annually, they contribute $6,000 dollar to dollar for the $6,000 that you contribute. Even if you have to pay the penalty and even if you have to pay the taxes, you would come ahead because of the employer match. So I highly recommend and suggest that you would contribute to a 401k plan at least to match the employer matching program. Uh, otherwise, you're leaving money on the table. And the other one is, hey, I'm planning to move back to India in a year or two or three. Uh, my suggestion is we all have plans, but in reality, 
before we realize we might be living in abroad for quite more time than we initially planned. So unless you need the money right now, I would suggest contribute to 401k, have the tax savings and let the savings grow compound bed, you know, uh, year over year. And uh, there are ways to manage your 401k funds when you are leaving US and moving back to India. We will give a deep dive into the options that are available for the 401k funds uh, when you're leaving US, uh, which we will cover in our next video on this topic. Uh, but uh, if you like this content and this is something that was useful, please like, share, and uh, provide feedback. And uh, if you like more of this similar content, let us know. And uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, have a great day.